I grew up in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and I had no clue that Harry Houdini, the famed magician, escape artist, and supernatural debunker, had some pretty serious ties to Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Right now, we're standing in downtown Pittsburgh looking for some of the Harry Houdini locations. Let's go check it out. We found a picture dating back to November 6, 1916, where Harry Houdini escaped from a straitjacket suspended in air in front of this building on the corner of Wood Street and Liberty. In the picture, it looks like there's a thousand people or more standing in front of this building looking up as Harry Houdini hung right in about the center of your screen between those two windows. You can see him very, very, very small in this picture we're gonna show you. Now, in order to get the exact angle of the photograph, they're probably standing on some sort of car or cart that was in the street here, but this is as close as we're gonna get. Now, if you look right there, that whole section of the building, or a second building, has been completely torn out. Crazy how times change. Over a hundred years ago, standing in the exact same spot that legendary Harry Houdini performed. Since 1916, this building has undergone a lot of refurbishment and changes. Since then, it does not look like it did back in 1916, except for that top part there. Just above those windows right there, there was a sign that says the Pittsburgh Post, and the windows down here on the bottom floor, including down there on the main floor, have changed quite considerably. At one time, the windows were so massive that in the picture, you can see people actually standing in the windows, watching him hang right there. And believe it or not, Harry Houdini didn't do this in front of this building under coincidence. He was a very smart man. You see, he was in Pittsburgh doing a series of shows and he wanted to make sure that he made the front page of the newspapers the next morning. So he did this in front of the Pittsburgh Post building. Smart man. Houdini was no stranger to Pittsburgh. Aside from doing the escape act, he did some polar plunges by jumping from a bridge that used to stand where the Andy Warhol Bridge stands today. But there is one more thing that he did here in Pittsburgh that was actually quite miraculous. In his later years, Houdini devoted most of his time to debunking psychics, mediums, and anybody claiming to have some supernatural powers. And it is here on September 18th, 1925, in a place called Alvin Theater, where he put one of these so-called psychics to the test. On September 18, 1925, Houdini offered $10,000 to anyone who can correctly guess what was in three envelopes on a stage inside this building, which is now a Bally Sports Club. A pastor of a local church answered the call, but guess what? She failed and was ultimately humiliated on stage. And during research on this remarkable building and history, we found that this building is scheduled to be demolished in the year 2021 to make room for something else. You can't go inside it anymore. It's all tarped off, forever closed. If you think about it, it's kind of sad because Pittsburgh is the kind of place that repurposes old buildings and preserves the history. So it's kind of sad to see this place go away. I mean, come on, Harry Houdini performed here. What more do you need? Not too far from where Houdini performed, there's a place called Liberty Magic. Sadly, they are closed today, but right here in the storefront is a giant mannequin with Houdini himself hanging from a straitjacket in it upside down. It's like one of those water torture ones where they put him in and fill it up with water. He's got to escape, get himself turned around, and come right back out the top. There's a padlock and there's the mannequin's feet up there. And it's a full-fledged magic shop right here in downtown Pittsburgh. I wish that they were open. 
Like I said, I lived in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania pretty much my entire life. I was born here, and not once did I ever hear anybody talk about Harry Houdini's history here. It's amazing. Wherever I come, bad luck is coming my way. Wherever I go, hard luck is dead in state. Good luck never stays a day. A bad luck's always coming my way. 